Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Now listen, the purpose of the wife is to submit to their own husband as unto the Lord. What does that mean? That means wives submit to your husbands as if they were the Lord. Now that sounds heavy, but that's just Bible. I'm not making it up. It's here in your Bible. It's here on the screens. You see it. The wives are supposed to submit on that level. They're supposed to submit themselves. Now the purpose of the husbands is to love their wives even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. You see, so this cuts both ways. This isn't just a strong admonishment for women to just submit to their husbands. This is an admonishment to men to love their wives when they do not submit to them. Because just like parents and children, when children are out of control and they won't submit to their parent because they're a jerk, you know what? Here's what the Bible says. Husbands, love your wives even if they're being a jerk. And wives, love your husbands even if they're a jerk. And all of this is based on the perspective that if you have a right relationship with God, this won't. This will be a non-issue. Because it's really easy to submit yourself to someone who's willing to love you and die for you.